Important Instructions To use the MAT-1500 Pro Tuner correctly and safely, before use, please carefully and thoroughly refer to the Tuner Operation Manual and this video. In particular, to the content related to the connection of tuner control cables, because improper operation causes serious damage to the tuner. The special mode of the MAT-1500 Pro Tuner is not suitable for all Yesu transmitters. Let's take a look at the back panel of the tuner. If your transmitter has a socket marked with tuner, you basically can use the MAT-1500 Pro Tuner. However, transmitters like FT-2000 and FTDX-5000 don't have such a socket, so they can't use the special mode of the 1500 Pro Tuner and can only use the general mode of the tuner. When you don't use a linear amplifier and the tuner is directly driven by the transmitter, please pay attention. If the maximum RF output power of your transmitter, like FTDX101MP, is 200 watts, the maximum output power will automatically decrease to 100 watts when the transmitter is detected to be connected to an external tuner. This is the setting of the firmware of the transmitter. Now, I'll take the Yesu FTDX10 transmitter as an example to show you how to use the MAT1500 Pro Tuner. First, let's see how the cable is connected. Before inserting and pulling out any control cable, please pay attention. You must turn off the transmitter. Otherwise, you may damage your transmitter or tuner. Step 1. Connect the control cable. One the end of the MATCY control cable is inserted into the tuner socket of the transmitter, please pay attention to the direction of the plug. The plug must be inserted and pulled out carefully to avoid the damage to the contact pins. The other end of the cable is connected with the Yesu socket of the tuner and also must be inserted and pulled out carefully. Okay, the control cable has been connected. Step 2. Connect the PPT control cable. Use one of the two RCA control cables provided for the tuner to connect the PPT out socket of the tuner marked on this label with the PPT in socket of the amplifier. Sometimes the PPT in socket of the amplifier is marked as key in. This amplifier is marked as key in. Connect them. Okay. The PPT control cable has been connected. As the tuner control cable of the Yesu transmitter already includes the PPT instruction, the PPT end socket of the tuner doesn't need to be connected with the transmitter any longer. The tuner can get the PPT instruction from the tuner control cable. Moreover, now many Yesu transmitters are already not provided with a dedicated PPT out socket. Step 3. Connect the RF cables. First, connect the coaxial cable of the antenna with the RF sockets of the tuner antenna 1 or antenna 2. Here, we connect it with antenna 1 and then tighten it to ensure good electric conduction. Then, use an RF cable to connect the RF in socket of the tuner with the output of the SWR meter. Connect one end of the coaxial cable with the RF end socket of the tuner and tighten the plug to ensure good electric conduction. Connect the other end with the output of the SWR meter, namely this socket antenna, and then tighten it. Use another RF cable to connect the input of the SWR meter with the output of the amplifier. We connect it with the antenna 1 socket. Finally, we connect the input of the amplifier with the antenna socket of the transmitter. Connect one end of the coaxial cable with the input of the amplifier. Connect the other end of the coaxial cable with the antenna socket of the transmitter. Then we've completed the connection of the RF cables. Here we used a SWR meter. Please pay attention. 
The SWR meter must be connected between the output of the amplifier and the input of the tuner. Do not connect the SWR meter between the input of the antenna and the output of the tuner. This is incorrect. Finally, please pay attention to another important thing. When using a linear amplifier, many people use a dedicated control cable to connect the amplifier control socket of transmitter and CAT AUX sockets of the amplifier to realize the automatic control. This control cable also includes the PPT control instruction from the transmitter to the amplifier. If you want to use the special mode of the MAT1500 Pro Tuner, you must disconnect the PPT core in the control cable. The PPT control of the amplifier is realized by this socket. Otherwise, when the transmitter starts a tuning cycle, the amplifier will amplify the RF signal, which damage to the tuner. Let's show how to use the Yasu transmitter to operate the MAT1500 Pro Tuner in the special mode. Their cables have been connected. This is a 1200 watt high power amplifier that BD3MN specifically designed for ham. It is an amazing product with an excellent protection function. First we turn on the amplifier. This is the Yayasu FTDX10 transmitter. Today, we use the machine for demonstration. Turn on the transmitter. The tuner and the transmitter start synchronously. As it is now connected with the Yayasu transmitter, the indicator lamp Yayasu of the tuner is on and the tuner automatically set to the special mode of Yayasu. Look at the button and the indicator lamp on the right, as now it is in the special mode of Yeasu. The power button doesn't work, but only serves as a power supply lamp. Antenna 1 is on, which means that the currently selected antenna is antenna 1. If you want to select the antenna 2, you can directly press antenna 2. We switch back to the antenna 1. Tune is off, which means that the tuner is offline. In the special mode, the tune button doesn't work, but only serves as online or bypass lamps. We use the tune button of the transmitter to change the online or bypass of the tuner. The state change is normal. Let's have a try. Press it for a short time. OK, the tune lamp is on, which means that the tuner is online. The word tune is also shown here. Then we press it again. OK. The tuner is already bypass. The operation below is to check the SWR of our antennas. In the actual use, you can neglect it according to circumstances. Now the brand of the transmitter is 80 meters. Let's check the current SWR of the antenna when there is no tuner. For safety, I set the amplifier to standby. Now it is standby which means it is standby. Set the power level of the transmitter to 5 watts. Let's transmit to see the SWR. Ah! Uh. We can see now that the SWR is very high. Then we switch to the brand of 40 meters. Ah, uh, the SWR is also very high. In other words, the antenna we use now has a very high SWR when the wave ranges brands are 80 meters or 40 meters. If you have a better understanding of your antenna, the above steps can be neglected. The above is to show the SWR of the antenna we use now. Let's switch back to the brand of 80 meters. We set the amplifier to the online state, namely the operate state. The PPT instruction transmitted by the transmitter to the amplifier decides whether the amplifier conducts amplification. We have already used the tuner to control the transmission of the PTT instruction between the transmitter and the amplifier, so the amplifier doesn't conduct amplification during tuning. Now let's start a tuning cycle. 
we can start a tuning cycle by pressing and hold the tune button. Now it is tuning. Well, the tuning is finished soon. Now we can see that the tune lamp of the tuner is on, which means the tuner is already online. We need to check the SWR after the tuning. At the time, the tuner has automatically resumed the transmission of the PTT instructions between the transmitter and the amplifier. So when the transmitter works, the amplifier will work and the output power will also be very high. We set the power level of the SWR meter to 300 watts. Ah, uh, now the maximum output power of the transmitter is 5 watts. After amplified by the amplifier, it has already exceeded 300 watts. However, the SWR is very low. Now we switch back to the brand of 40 meters and demonstrate it again. We start a tuning cycle. Well, the tuning is finished. The tune lamp of the tuner is on, which means the tuner has completed the tuning successfully and has been automatically set to the online state. Ah, uh, we can see the maximum output power has exceeded 200 watts. The SWR is also very ideal. Well, this is how to operate the MAT1500 Pro Tuner in the special mode of Yasu. From the above demonstration, we can see that it is very easy to operate the MAT1500 Pro Tuner when it is connected with the Yasu transmitter. It can achieve full automatic operation. We can directly achieve the one-click operation by the tune button of the transmitter, so it is very convenient. As for the Yasu transmitter, the tuner can change automatically and correspondingly when we change the frequency. If you have successfully started a tuning cycle at a certain frequency, you don't need to restart a new tuning cycle, but can directly use it when you switch back to this frequency.